experienced my very first ever Christian concert with Chris Tomlin. I've been to so many different concerts in my life. I've never been to a Christian concert. And wow, I'm going to share my full experience out here in Las Vegas, T-Mobile Arena. He just came and while it's fresh in my spirit, I'm excited to share this. I'm gonna break this down into a couple things. My personal experience, I'm gonna talk about just the concert overall, my worship experience with the Lord at the concert, and also a few other things that might be controversy. So stick until the end and I'll share everything about it. First, I wanna give it a rating. And I know you can't really rate an experience with the Lord, but just the conference. Let's just talk about the conference and the organization just everything that got done it, it was a 10 okay it was just so simple to get in out just the way that it was uh, coordinated with with everyone that worked uh, Chris Tomlin and just the whole crew of how everything flowed man the Spirit of God was definitely working so I give it a 10 if Chris Tomlin's coming he's doing a tour all around the nation if he's coming to your city this next week a few months I'd highly highly recommend this it's a great experience now let's talk about the experience when it comes to worship I know people get a little bit iffy when it comes down to like concerts and you know it's just there for entertainment I came strictly to get deeper with the Lord, but also I want to experience this in an arena setting. I mean, thousands of people all around, a whole bunch of people just raising their hallelujahs, praising God, the couple next to me and the people around me, they were just so deep into worship, people crying, bawling out, I felt deliverance. It was such an amazing experience and all. Psalm 150 verse six, it says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord Praise the Lord. So here's the difference between praise, worship, thanksgiving. Praise is just pretty much honoring God for who he is, his virtues, his attributes. It's praising God for who he is. Thanksgiving is part of God's will. If we go into, for example, the book of Thess Thessalonians, it tells us in everything give thanks for this is God's will. We thank God for what he's done, what he's doing, what he's about to do. We just give thanks to God. And worship, worship to me, there's so many different ways I can explain worship. Worship is an attitude. Worship to me is more of like our, a heart check of how we can give honor, respect, and reverence to God. I can worship God. And there's so many ways to worship. It could be through our acts of how we, you know, we bow down to the King, just simply just putting our hands up and just worshiping Him, worshiping Him, right? Worship is an attitude. And I needed to break these down because my experience with worshiping God, it was great. I was joyful. I was laughing. I cried a lot. I really felt like the Lord filled me up. I prayed before I got into the concert. I said, Father, I just want to leave that place refreshed fresh revelation, something brand new. And man, I just came out with such a, I felt it like a pure heart. I felt a deeper respect for worship, for songs and for just giving it, giving it up to the Lord. I came in not trying to be deceived, obviously. Again, remember people talk about the entertainment side of it. I came to worship God. My worship experience wasn't about the people around me. It was between me and the Father, me and God, and I really felt different. I can't stop listening to Chris Tomlin's songs, you know, a day after. So it was so fresh in my heart and just the way that I can really give thanks and honor and worship God in a different way. I, I really thank God for this experience and allowing me to just go. Now, I'll probably see people on the other side of the spectrum saying, hey, you don't need a concert or a place to increase your worship. I believe God will allow you to, to experience these things to really understand and get it from a different perspective. What I took away from that place wasn't just, I'm only going to worship him because there's thousands of people. Chris Tomlin's at the stage. No, I'm going to worship God even deeper, whether it's anywhere. It could be a, a couple of us at Bible study. It could just be me and my alone time with God. I've gotten really deep with how I can really give thanks to God. And I believe that event was one of those things that poured into me, right? Was that water I needed over that seed and God to do the increase. And again, that's just one of the things that take place. Being able to seek the Lord and seek his face, it is a lifestyle. It's progressing every single day. It's about picking up that cross and following Jesus, denying ourselves every day. And those are a few things I took over with my relationship with the Lord. Now, I know there's people that probably went and they had different experience. I mean, there was legit people that were at the bar. The bars weren't as like packed as like any other event, but there was a couple people that were buying drinks, right? It was just more of like, hey, and I'm not going to condemn them for dr them drinking alcohol. That's going to be between them and the Lord. But again, I wanted this to be a pure experience between me and the Lord and just to see how God was going to pour into me. And I really felt the presence of God. Now, again, I didn't go to worship Chris Tomlin, okay? That's not the the whole goal. We're here not to idolize these people, these influencers, people on the stage. 
I came to worship God. I only worship God alone. But Chris Tomlin was used as a vessel. I mean, this man was being used. He's been being used for as long as he's make, making music. I was praying and covering him. And when you, when I saw him on stage, I really felt the anointing. I really felt the light of God and just his face shining. And I could see God is really using him. So just covering him, him and his ministry and the things that he's done, the enemy doesn't want that to take place. And I really respect him and what he's been able to do. And just the pure worship of just shouting out your praise and giving it up to the Lord. And he didn't go over the top. It was like just enough. And again, I'm out here discerning. I'm sharp in the spirit, prayed up, ready to just receive whatever, but to also discern anything that might be off. And I really felt the presence of God, just me and the Lord. And I think this is something we need to do as followers of Christ is there's a difference between respecting and honoring somebody, right? Giving them respect. Like we're called to uh, give our, our parents respect, right? Honor your mother and father, honor them, respect them. And then there's where you actually idolize. You take everything they say and believe that it's coming from God's voice. We're called to discern. We're called to test the spirits. And man, the man is pure. I just enjoyed the experience and I love how he's being used by God. And he's been doing this for a while, so it's not something that he's, you know, just started doing. It's It's been a while, so you can, like, watch a few of his old places, and he cracked the same jokes that night, and it's just flowing. It, it lightens up the mood, and I'm sure there's a lot of people just like me that haven't seen him live, and again, it was a great experience. I felt refreshed. I felt filled up with joy, compassion, love, and I really felt God just really working on my heart. And that's going to lead me to Chris Tomlin partnering up with Hillsong. I did a video on just the whole Hillsong documentary exposure. You guys can watch that. But I was looking at Hillsong and how they opened up. So it was Chris Tomlin. He uh, he had somebody open up and then he came in like literally 20, 30 minutes after the opening and they were opening on time. And then it was Hillsong about an hour and a half later around 9 p.m. And at first it was a little bit rocky and I didn't know these people with Hillsong United from Australia have been doing this for a long time together until I looked it up and looked more into what they were doing after the concert at first it was a little rocky you know with the transition and just kind of seeing them you know i think a, a younger crowd like millennials uh, gen z gen x right that crowd would really vibe with the type of way that they were able to open up and then they got back into you know the the hillsong uh, ones that the hillsong songs that a lot of people know about and it felt like real good worship and you can really see, you could see them as vessels. And like I said, I talk about Hillsong in general. I think these people, as they're being used to like really worship God and we're, we're worshiping the Lord in spirit and in truth, it was an overall amazing experience just beginning to end, even though I had a deeper discernment for Hillsong when they came up. And it took a lot of courage for Chris Tomlin to go out there and partner up with them put his name with them because a lot of conspiracies attacks, especially with everything that's going on. They also mentioned, and I wish I recorded it, they mentioned, you know, they had a lot of voices and chatters that were going on and they almost didn't make it because of just, you know, that documentary got released last week. Here they are a week later and they're on tour with Chris Tomlin. So it takes a lot of trust and faith and especially Chris Tomlin partnering up with them. It's gonna, well, is it going to make his name look bad? Is it going to say, oh, well, you're affiliated with Hillsong and they're you know under attack, exposing them and whatnot. So again, covering Chris Tomlin and for him to be able to say, we're going to push through. This is what God wants. They've been planning this, they said, for over three years now. So for him to just keep pushing and to worship with them and, and be there and be on tour with them, it really says a lot about him and how he's been able to say, no matter what, we're not doing this for man. We're not going to allow the enemy to try to stop because the enemy tried to stop this. Revival is being set out in the nation. And I believe Chris Tomlin was called to, re to really revive the body of Christ wherever he's going. And just like I felt revived, I mean, I'm already on fire for the Lord. I'm telling you, I'm already on fire for God, but it lit an even deeper fire for me. I looked at the whole stage and I looked at everyone around and I was like, Man, if people can just know who Jesus truly is, because there could be some carnally minded people, some people, like I said, people that are just drinking, other people that are just there just because it's entertainment, the show, the name of Chris Tomlin or the name of Hillsong. And if they could just get deeper with their walk with the Lord, my my heart lit on fire for those people. Beautiful experience. That was my full experience with this all. Obviously, it's coming from, you could say, a non-biased perspective because I came in with my guard up. You know, Philippians 4, it tells us to guard our hearts and our minds. It says that the peace of God that guards your heart and minds, right? So I'm praying. It says praying, praying, and I'm praying. And then I'm just asking the Lord to cover me and to just allow his will to be done. And I just released it to God. I opened up my heart. I said, Lord, pour into me. And I came out refreshed. I came out feeling a lot renewed 
and revived in this spirit. If Chris Tom is coming nearby your city or maybe in the future, I'd highly recommend to go. Tickets were not that expensive at all and we got really good seats. So it was a great experience overall. If you guys wanna know a little bit about my experience when it comes to also Hillsong in the documentary, I watched that. I'll drop that right here. You guys can watch that, my response to it and why I support Chris Tomlin and how he's been able to partner up with them and what they did. It was amazing. Cover this man with the blood of Jesus. If you guys have any questions, let me know. God bless you. Thanks for staying till the end. Take care. Have a great week. In Jesus' name.